Welcome to Recharge with Richardson, five minutes of hope and inspiration every Monday and Thursday. And now, here is today's episode. Welcome to today's episode of Recharge with Richardson. It's a great Thursday and I'm happy to be with you. And I'm just uh, so thankful to be able to share this brief time together in God's Word. And uh, today, the title that I've given my uh, few meditations with you is uh, Exercise Your Body. Now, if you remember the last episode that we had together, I, I talked about exercising our minds. And today, I want to look at what we think of a little more traditionally concerning uh, the word exercise and what we normally think of. And uh, you might be wondering, well, what does physical exercise have to do with a relationship with God? This is, this is supposed to be some time in God's Word and spiritual enlightenment and so on. But really, uh, let me share with you a Bible verse, because that is a good question. What does physical exercise have to do with a relationship with God? 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verses uh, 24 and the first part of verse 25, it says this, Do you not know that those who run in a race all run, but one receives the prize? Run in such a way that you may be able to obtain it. And everyone who competes for the prize is temperate in all things. And, and, and so Paul is helping us understand that a healthy and fit body actually promotes keener spiritual uh, connection with God. A keener brain comes from having a physically fit body, and when you have a, a keener mind, then you can connect with God better and discern deeper spiritual things and have a, a better connection. So, so physical exercise does matter in terms of our spiritual lives, and I just want to share with you a few things regarding that to, to try to encourage you, if you're not already on some kind of an exercise program, to, to think about that, not just for the sake of your body, but because of its spiritual impact for you. Do you realize that more than 70% of the United States' population are not physically active? That means that we are increasingly, uh, you're really compromising our, our health. Inactivity, in fact, is one of the greatest public health challenges of our century. Because as we've gotten more sedentary, as technology has increased, and now we sit around, we don't even have to get up to change the channel on the TV, just push a button. And, uh, and, and we have our smart devices and so on. So, so it's much, much easier to get lazy and not get the activity we need. Whereas when people were doing more manual types of labor, there was that natural piece to that. Another thing that's so concerning is that the problem of child obesity is doubling every 10 to 20 years. Uh, and, and really, there are no magic bullets in medicine, but Physical activity is actually one of the closest things we have to a magic bullet in, in medicine. And, and I'm going to share with you some things that will help you understand that. And so Paul, in this verse that we just read, is using athletic training as a spiritual illustration. But his first point is very clear that physical fitness allows us to compete for the prize, not only of life here, but of eternal life. You see, God created our bodies and he really does care about what, what's happening to them and, and what's going on with them and, and what kind of shape they're in. And one of the ways that we love God, that we show him that we love him, is and, and that we uh, value what he's created, is by being good stewards of our physical bodies. And, and honestly, full disclosure, th this has been one of the hardest things for me to learn, and I'm still on that journey personally. I was born uh, you're just one of these people with a strong constitution. I was born naturally strong and healthy, and I was always able to perform at a very high physical le level, even without doing any formal fitness training. In, in school, I, I excelled in sports, didn't have to train or do much of anything uh, with that. But and, and so that was just sort of my natural gift. Now, I but here's the other piece. I've always liked food, and I felt that I ought to show my gratitude to those who cook it for their effort by eating a lot of it at every meal. And so you can imagine when I'm young and, and active and, and growing and metabolism is, is really moving along, you know, not a problem. But getting out of my 20s and, and, and 30s and then into my late, latter 30s and then into the 40s, I didn't have any exercise habits because as I say, I'd always done well physically. And, and as my metabolism slowed down, my eating didn't. So you can guess what happened, right? Yeah. 
yeah, I got slowly, I got more out of shape and more overweight. And, and uh, every so often, you know, my conscience will tell me, hey, you need to do something about this. You need to change. You need to be a good steward of your body. But it's hard to change. And I got to be honest, I like food. It's great stuff. But I'm trying to take steps in that direction in my life. I've, I've, I've cut back. I'm trying to eat smaller portions, not eat later in the evening, sometimes skip supper because I've had a big lunch. Um, I'm working on doing aerobic exercises, trying to get that regularly two, three times a week and, and, and just trying to be a little better of a steward there because I, I realize what God says in his word about it. And I still have a long way to go. I haven't managed to get all the way where I want to be, but with God's help and with some, uh, with, with the support of good friends around me, I am making progress uh, in the right direction. And, and, and so there are two kinds of physical activity that I really want to just touch on with you here. And I won't be able to get to the second one until our next episode. There are two kinds, though. There's aerobic exercise, and then there's strength training. And I'm just going to touch on aerobic exercise for a little bit here with us this morning. Aerobic exercise is what elevates your heart rate and improves your cardiovascular fitness. Now, there are tons of benefits that come along with, uh, with aerobic exercise. Uh, first of all, as I said, since it elevates your heart rate and, and gets your blood pumping, your blood vessels moving and everything, there are some really great effects of this. The benefits of it, it includes less stress, more energy, improved coronary health, lower blood pressure, a better, better immune function, uh, a better outlook on life, the delay of dementia and Alzheimer's. Can you imagine that? How would you like to, if, if you, you may or may not know if whether you're at risk for that or not, I don't know if it runs your family, but, but just doing aerobic exercise can delay dementia and Alzheimer's if you might be prone to that. It increases longevity on top of it. In fact, I'm going to share with you an amazing statistic in a few moments. The good news about this is that you only need moderate exercise to reap those benefits. You don't have to be some kind of crazy hardcore marathon runner or you don't have to do an Ironman triathlon or all that kind of stuff. What they're telling us is, is that if we do about 10 minutes of moderate activity about three times a day throughout the day, uh, that, that's enough to really give us these kind of benefits. This is going to blow your mind, but Dr. Paffenberger, uh, he did a, a study on aerobic exercise looking at 17,000 Harvard alumni, and here's what his research found. Amazing. For every one hour of exercise that you do, you could actually add four or more hours to your life expectancy. That's amazing you can almost turn back the clock, or at least you can slow it way down uh, by getting the right amount of exercise. That's almost discovering a fountain of youth. Now, I just don't even have time to share with you all the research on exercise and longe longevity, but, but it's impressive and it's, it's really conclusive. Exercising aerobically, moderately, regularly allows you to live longer with a better quality of life. But once again, as I wrap up our, our thoughts for today, it's the point once again is that a healthier body helps you compete at a higher level for a spiritual prize, eternal life. And I just want again to remind you, no matter what might be going on in your life, no matter what challenge you might be facing, what burden you might be bearing, go to God because God's got this and God's got you. Thank you for joining us for Recharge with Richardson. Don't forget to join us for our next episode. And until then, may God fill you with joy and peace and hope.